What does it mean that we're a family? That we're to have Philadelphia with each other? How do we cultivate that as a church? And listen to what the author of the Hebrews is calling us to here in this text. And I want you just to think, right? I'm sure when you, when you answer that question for yourself, what does it mean to be a family? A lot of things come to your mind. You think about your own blood family. Certainly one that came to mind for me this week was families stick together through very difficult things, don't they? Wouldn't you say that that's something that family does? Family in the midst of trials and difficulty ordinarily sticks together, comes together. It's really interesting when you think about the history of Christianity, um, how the church has demonstrated this over the last 2,000 years, how Christians have shown this forth. In ancient Rome, there were a series of epidemics that claimed the lives of thousands of people. In 165 AD, during the reign of Marcus Aurelius, um, the empire was just, was just plagued by some sort of epidemic. Some people think it was uh, you know, an ancient form of smallpox, and around a, a fourth to a third of the entire population died. It was absolutely devastating. Marcus Aurelius spoke of carts and wagons hauling the diseased and the dead out of the city. Just a, a few years later, there was another plague that struck Rome, and some historians say that up to 5,000 people per day were dying in Rome. You can imagine the absolute carnage, the suffering. We have the writings of one pastor who lived in Rome at the time, a man named Dionysius. And listen to what he says, how he talks about how the Christians responded to this great trial. He says, most of our brother Christians showing unbounded love and loyalty, never sparing themselves and thinking only of one another, Heedless of danger, they took charge of the sick, attending to their every need and ministering to them in Christ. And with them departed this life serenely happy, for they were infected by others with the disease drawing on themselves the sickness of their brothers, of their neighbors. You think about how wild that is. Like, why would anybody do that? Well, again, the, the, the believers in Jesus Christ, those who, who em, embrace the gospel, who experience the gospel, who understand this call to family. You just think about your own family. If your own family was suffering in, in a dire situation, would you ever abandon them? Would you ever just turn your back? Would you say, hope you get better, right? Like you would do anything that you could, even if it meant you suffered too. This is one of the things that the church, especially under persecution throughout, throughout the history of the church, has, has exhibited. One of the things God calls us to as a family is to work side by side, even when there are great difficulties, when there are great trials. 